Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Spectre Divide for better FPS and visibility to get maximum performance out on your PC. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the essential window settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and then go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned on consumes a lot of CPU utilization and reducing your FPS. Turning this thing off will help you to gain extra FPS right away. Head back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. It disables apps running in the background, optimizing your PC to gain extra FPS. Right beneath that you'll find graphic settings, head over to that and click on change default graphic settings. Enable both hardware extension GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games to reduce input latency and utilize your graphic card for rendering the game. Head back to graphics and then you'll find a list of all of the apps and games installed on your PC. Go over to the browse button over here and then go to the install location of your game. Once you're in the folder, head over to Spectre, Binaries, Win64 and you'll find the win64shipping.exe. Click on the add button over here, go over to options and then select high performance right away. Then head over to the browse button once again, get back to the Spectre folder and then you'll find spectreclient.exe. Click on add and add this client to the high performance right away as well. Once it's done, close the setting. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activity key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number 2 is the compatibility settings and for that head over to the install location of your game. And for that you can open up Steam on your PC, right click on the game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. In this folder head over to Spectre, Binaries, Win64 and then select Spectre Client Win64Shipping.exe. Right click on that and then head over to properties. Go over to compatibility and then disable full screen optimizations. Click on change high DPI settings and select the first option right over here. Click on OK and then click on apply. Step number three is disabling background applications. And for that, search for local group policy editor on your PC. And this is only available for Windows for users. Once you're here, head over to the administrative templates, Windows components, app privacy, and then double click on the let Windows apps run in the background. Then click on enable to enable this policy and then set force deny for default for all application. And this will disallow all of the background applications and help you to gain extra FPS. Next step is defrag and optimize your disks and for that simply search for defragment and optimize drives and over here you'll find your local disk C. Now again if that is a solid state drive click on optimize and it will start trimming your SSD. Trimming your SSD regularly is a really good way to keep it optimized and for the hard disk drive you can click on analyze and then optimize and it will defragment your hard disk drive. It is completely safe to do and I highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then head over to your local disk C over here. Click on create and name it something you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close button over here and then close system properties. Next step is a spectral divide. FPS pack I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Once you open this thing up, you'll find in 5 simple folders. The first one is CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you are an AMD CPU user like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you are an Intel CPU user, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. Then next is Spectre Divide Priority and over here you have to double click and run the Spectre Divide High Priority and this will set your game priority to the maximum level allowing it to render quickly. Next is RAM Optimization in which I have left a ton of presets according to your memory. 
Once again, I use 32GB RAM so I need to use this one but I have left a ton of presets so you can choose according to your memory. And once again, if that doesn't work out, well, you can always reset it back to default right away. Next is the programs folder in which you'll find 3 simple programs. First one is the cachecleaner.pat. Right click and run this as administrator. This will start deleting all of the temporary files from your PC and it will also help you to free up a ton of storage which you might not clear frequently. These are the files that are temporarily cleared by programs that are no longer needed. It is completely safe so you can minimize it and it will close automatically. Next is memory.exe. You can simply install it with the setup file over here and then open up memory duct on your PC. Once again, I would like to tell you how memory duct actually works. Right now you guys can see that there is a 41% memory usage on my PC. And as soon as I click on clean memory and then click on yes, it will instantly reduce the load on my memory. This helps you to gain extra FPS and makes a headroom on your RAM to perform better while you're playing the games. I highly recommend you guys to run it every time you launch the game. Last is the quickcpu.msi. Once you install it, you can simply open up quickcpu from here and it opens up in a simple window like this. Simply set your system plan to ultimate performance or high performance if that is available on your PC and then click on active. The most important part over here is sliding all of these score parking and performance indexes all the way up to 100% and then click on apply. This will make sure that you disable core parking which is automatically turning off your CPU cores which are not in utilization allowing them to run on full throttle every single second on your PC which helps you to gain extra FPS and improve the system performance drastically. You can also head over to the memory data over here and then click on clean. It might take 5 seconds but once that is done it will clean your memory and improve it for better performance. Last and final is the unwanted services folder in which I have left a ton of services or registry files that you can disable on your PC. If you use any Bluetooth devices, do not disable the Bluetooth services but other than that, I highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of them and this will help you to remove unnecessary services running in the background, consuming your CPU and memory utilization. Once again, if you want to revert all of these registries back, you can always use this folder to turn them back again. Once that is done, you can close your FPS pack and now let's move to the next step that is boot configuration. And for that, simply search for msconfig on your PC and you'll open up a simple window like this. Head over to the boot section and then click on advanced option. Select number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available over here. Click on OK and then click on apply. Next is disabling unwanted services on your PC and for that head over to the services section over here and then select hide all Microsoft services. Then start disabling any update service, fan control service, RGB service, browser update service, printer service if you do not use them or other services that you're aware of. I highly recommend you guys to know what you're disabling and not disable any important service like NVIDIA container or your VGC if you're playing games like Valorant. These are anti-cheat services and disabling them will result in crashing of your game and not starting up once again. Once it is done, you can simply click on OK. Next step is setting up your virtual memory and this can also help you to gain extra FPS. Simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your PC and then click on adjust for best performance. Click on show taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of them will keep the minimal look of windows and disable all unwanted animations reducing CPU use. Then head over to the advanced section and then for the virtual memory click on the change button over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size. For the custom size set this to 1361 and for the maximum size open up calculator on your PC and then multiply your total physical memory that is 32 GB for me with 1024. This will give you your memory in megabytes. Divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. Once you're done with that, click on set, click on OK and then click on apply and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Once you're done with all of those steps, drop into your game and follow the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, head over to the settings here over here and then go over to graphics. Then for the display mode, make sure to set it to full screen and your resolution should be enabled in under resolution. Frame rate limit should be turned off, VSync should be turned off and the render scale should be set to 100%. Texture, I would recommend to go with high, effects low, post processing low. Reflex enabled on plus boost and DLSS should be turned on and super resolution mode should be set to either balanced or quality. These are all the best settings that you need to apply for this game. So guys that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have made sure to do your like and smash that subscribe button. We are really close to 200,000 subscribers. If you guys are not a channel member yet consider getting the membership as it really helps me grow out the channel as well. 
We'll see you guys in another amazing video on Even Stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.